And there is the president. Let's watch and listen live. Well, I am happy to welcome the Stanley Cup champion Boston Bruins to the White House. Members of Congress, uh, members of my cabinet who are joining us today. Uh, we're also pretty excited to, to see you. Uh, I understand we got Mayor Menino here. Where is he? There he is right in front of me. Great to see you. Uh, the Bruins, the Sox, uh, the Celtics, now the Patriots. <laughs> Enough already, Boston. What's going on? Huh? Last year, this team endured a long season and even longer playoffs. Uh, they are the first team in NHL history to win three full seven-game series. Some pretty long playoff beards to show it, uh, to show for it, and uh, I appreciate them looking a little more clean cut uh, as they come here today. Uh, these Bruins finally brought uh, the Stanley Cup back to Causeway Street for the first time since 1972, when Bobby Orr was leading the team. Uh, and obviously, that was before most of the guys on this stage were born. Uh, now, uh, Bobby Orr is obviously a hockey legend. Uh, he took uh, the ice without a helmet, uh, and kids don't try that uh, at home. He attacked every puck, and he lived by the motto, forget about style, worry about results. Well, that's what uh, this year's offense delivered. Big time results. Uh, Brad Marshman uh, went into the season playing on the fourth line, uh, but the little ball of hate shrugged off the rookie jitters. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> What's up with that nickname, man? Scored five goals in the last five games of the final series. Uh, after two series winning goals to lead the Bruins to the championships, uh, Nathan Horton went down hard in game three of the finals, but that didn't stop him from doing everything he could to help his team win. Uh, he even brought uh, some Boston water all the way to Vancouver and poured it in the ice uh, before decisive game seven. So Beantown delivered. Uh, and there is no better image of the Bruins' dominance than the tallest player in NHL history. I'll let you guess which one that is. Uh, Zdeno Chara hoisting the cup above the ice in Vancouver, uh, which is, I'm sure, the highest that the Stanley Cup had ever been. Um, this Stanley Cup was won by defense as much as by offense. Uh, Tim Thomas posted two shutouts in the Stanley Cup's finals, set an all-time record for saves in the postseason. Uh, he also earned the honor of being the, only the second American ever to be recognized as the Stanley play, uh, uh, Cup's playoffs MVP. And together, these players proved that teamwork is everything. It can overcome injuries, it can overcome long odds. Uh, the wise old man of the team, uh, Mark Recchi, uh, summed up the season by saying, we played together, we drank together, how much do you drink? Uh, we lost together, and we never wavered. Uh, I know that loyalty is important in Boston, which is why the Boston Bruins Foundation has raised and donated more than $7 million in charitable or, uh, contributions uh, for organizations all across New England. I want to thank them. Uh, for bringing their spirit of service to Washington. Uh, they led a hockey clinic at the Boys and Girls Club, uh, or they're going to do that later this afternoon. Uh, these Bruins understand that winning the Stanley Cup is more than just uh, men on ice. It's about the people that stand behind them. And that's why, since the last buzzer sounded in June, the Bruins have been taking their cup all over the world to share it with their fans. Uh, Zdeno invited his mailman to check it out. Wheeled it around town in a, a baby carriage. Uh, Coach Julian's uh, daughter ate her morning Cheerios out of it. That's pretty cool. Uh, the, coat, uh, the cup has traveled from 
the back of a duck boat in the streets of Boston uh, to the greens of Pebble Beach and from a sauna in Finland to a, uh, to a uh, Slovakian castle. Uh, Dennis Seidenberg uh, even brought it uh, to his son's christening. Uh, under the leadership of owner Jeremy Jacobs and uh, Coach uh, Julian, uh, this team has shown a commitment to the game and to each other that is a testament to them, but obviously also a testament to fans who cheer for the black and gold all around the world. And they know that being a champion doesn't end when you hang up your skates uh, at the end of practice or at the end of the season. And the new banner that hangs from the rafters of the garden commemorates the place that they have earned in history. Uh, and I know that the season is heating up again, uh, so I don't want to uh, be too long. I just want to make sure that I wish everybody good luck on the ice tomorrow night uh, and during the rest of the season as well. Congratulations, gentlemen. Great job. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in your seats until the photograph has been taken. Thank you. And there is the obligatory shirt number 11 for the year that they won this championship 2011. The Boston Bruins at the White House with President Obama today. And he mentioned and uh, had some good words to say about the Boston Bruins Foundation. $7 million donated locally. The Bruins this afternoon are going to go to the Boys and Girls Club in Washington and play some uh, street hockey with the kids there and obviously relishing and enjoying this uh, very memorable moment in their careers and just a great thing as he goes around and shakes the hands of the owners, the players, the owner's son, and um, just uh, enjoying this moment in the sun.